How long you going to let the cookie bro to show about like that? Go get her. So I gotta get the web because Lady Cadaver wants to swim? I got it all worked up for you. And this sponge, soak it up. I'm gonna love squeezing you out. Baby, you caught the real problem, huh? She wears the pants all right, but somehow she always strips her gears. All right, you washed. Now I'm not gonna spit and dry you. <laughs> Chicken in. Easy, baby, you're almost a fire hazard. Break out some sauce so Rosa can clear her throat. You're all shook up, aren't you, baby? baby, pop the top before you blow your own. Eh, hey, don't you get enough of that at the joint? But there's an audience here. I'll give you heaps of ass. My motor never runs down, baby. And besides, you are such a wonderful audience. We just got out of that last and she still got to go into a routine, eh? So, working up a new routine. <laughs> 
guy can't be my agent. He couldn't afford the gas. My death is fan club, I no doubt. But they went that way, partner. I'll come there with you here. I told you girls I had a fan club out here. These things just are not made for long nights. Nice set of wheels. Would you like to look under my hood? Been running some timing trials? We know how fast we can go. Could time that heat with an hourglass. Someone mention my figure? In that outfit, what's the mention? Oh, shall I set up shop here, Tommy? Do you girls mind if we run some timing trials? This is about the best measured strip around. Be our guest. Might be kind of interesting. Okay. You sure we're not the crowd in you, huh? Oh, no, I'm glad you're here. Uh, would you like a soft drink? Put me a uh, no. A soft drink, chef. Honey, we don't like nothing soft. Everything with us is hard. All set, hon. Clock me from when I hit that marker there till I finish a bad one. You'll see a puff of smoke from my exhaust when I cut in the motor. That's when you hit the magic button. Such a nut about that car and driving fast. Driving fast is fun, honey. I don't know why I worry about him. He's the champion of our car club and first in safety points, too. I'm sorry. I seem to be using up all the oxygen. What's your story? You have the questions, girls. Uh, this is what we do. At 125 per, less taxes and social security. Really? You got it made. How'd you get the fun? Well, then let's have fun, baby. Hey, the kid's all right. If I ever get a severe case of love sickness, you know who can fill in for me at the club. <gasps> oh, I forgot the time. I'm going to be so disappointed. Well, you make up a time. You know, a time like you know. A record. How did you go, baby? I felt fast, real fast. I forgot, honey. I didn't clock you. We all started talking, or I guess I did. I forgot. I'm sorry. No. Okay, forget it. I didn't hurt anything except my motor. Here, buddy, relax. The sun's still high. You can try it again. I'll even chime you this time, and I got a perfect movement. What's so exciting about racing against the clock anyway? What's it prove? Well, it's like a runner trying to improve his time. He trains his body to get the most out of it. I work on this baby the same way. Trying to get maximum performance. What's it mean if you don't beat anybody? But I do. I beat their time. Is that how you got cutie pie over there? By beating some guy's time? No. <laughs> You're not the type. You're, uh, the all-American boy. A safety first Clyde. Are you trying to say something? I never try anything. I just do it. Like I don't beat clocks. Just people. Want to try me? I don't have to prove anything. His car is okay. Just the color needs changing. Like a maybe yellow. I think you're all being unfair. What's so important about beating people? And what's so wrong with a friendly race? Now she makes sense. How about it, kids? A nice, friendly little rally. Just Let's around the circular marker. Just three little curves. Sounds like fun. I'll be the starter. No gum, but I got a whistle. How about it, handsome? I'll bet you're a real tiger in disguise. You got a deal.
all right. He just lost control of his bomb. Nearly creamed us both. What's that hero doing out there? I say you need surprise. He should. He's got a lot to be thankful for. I better go. <laughs> What's your hurry, honey? He's not gonna run away. There's no hurry, only I belong with him now. It's all my fault. He didn't even want to race. Look, I better go. I know, honey. We understand. You want to take your little stopwatch and go home. Those are very sensitive. They break out of balance very easy. My card lost control? You're overdressed. You won't be needing this anymore, and I think your boyfriend's had his gut full of racing. Listen, give it back. That told me he valued that. He won it. Good, now let him win it back. Tommy! Tommy! Let's just time Lancelot as he comes charging to the rescue. What's going on, Isaac? Three and a half seconds, champ. You were great. What's the matter? The watch. You won't give it back to me. Let's have it. You've got a weird sense of humor. Try again, I get funny. Look, I don't know what the hell your point is, but I don't... The point is of no return, and you've reached it. You can still climb in that kitty car and take a hike. Unless you can fight better than you can drive. Away, Buster. Yeah, maybe you're right. <laughs> Come on, babe, let's get out of here. Get out! <laughs> Something stiff in his heap. He's had a bad accident. Don't help her. You gotta move and fast. your job, squirrel. Fill it up. Yes, ma'am. Hold the lock, 
Bruce wakes up wet and flawless. We're in trouble whether she wakes up or not. What's keeping her out? I gave her a pill. She's good for another two hours. Well, you should have stepped in the car with a friend. She's the only eyewitness. Not the only witness. But then you two couldn't really be called witnesses. Willing, helpful witnesses. People who could have stopped something from happening but didn't. In California, they're called accessories to the crime. Oh, you're cute. Like a velvet glove cast in iron. And like the gas chamber, Varla, a real fun gal. Those are not so loud, da? Huh? The chest is dense, but not dead. What now? We've got gas. Where do we go? That'll be 13 feet. You need to go What a hunk of stuff. Ooh. Hey, he's a big one, ain't he? Ooh. Got muscles all the way to his ears. They call him the vegetable. He's kind of a nut. And his old man's a bigger one. Hey, there's the old man. Now, that's him. The old man, he's a crip. Railroad accident. Smashed him up real bad. Tried to save a girl. Kind of cleared his mind, too. Especially about women. Of course, they gave him a big hunk of money for a settlement. No more nobody know how much it was. Never had the positive. Like I say, he's a nut. Don't believe in banks. My guess is he hid out there in the desert someplace. Hates everybody, though. Hates everybody. Of course, with all that money, he can afford to. Don't know nobody like him either. Why he can leave town tomorrow and nobody even stir? <laughs> it's kind of sad, though. All that money and nobody enjoy it. Let's split, but don't follow too close. <laughs> knock muscle but it's even better when you've got bread to enjoy it and it's in there enough to buy ourselves a lot of swinging miles enough money to lose somebody huh a perfect place to lose anybody but this little doll's our cover story her boyfriend was killed in a racing accident she flipped ran away from home her family's big socially and doesn't want any publicity so they asked us to find the girl we found her just like we're gonna find a big hunk of that long green. Oh, that is so phony. It's almost believable. You don't have to believe it, honey. Just act it. Now let's move, but let's take the back door. <laughs>
to get the same thing your boyfriend got. There, Slim, now you can get as vocal as you want. character must be a kook. All that bread and living in a dump like this. Smash cars, busted out buses, but all good stashes. Great place to hide a hunk of loot. I'm gonna start checking it out. You keep an eye on Sweetie Pie. She gets too physical, give her a pill. They're in the glove compartment of my bomber. White ones for the nod off, and yellow ones for the big wake up. Uh, what you got for Sin Varla? That depends, Boom Boom, on what you got in mind. When you decide, let me know. You'll go too far. But just the ones you'll go too far and you'll find your high tech to a tree. <laughs> Sometimes I see her try and figure me. I can't even figure myself. Your brother Kirk's growing away from us, boy. Cooks a meal in the reading. Fifty bucks for three lousy books. There ain't a picture in one of them. Yeah. He forgets easy what that money cost me. Just waiting for me to die. Or maybe just kill me and take it. But we won't let him go, will we, boy? Boy. What do you want me to do, Paul? Get another girl? Oh, it's too soon for that. You were too rough the last time. You gotta be more careful, boy. When you hurt somebody, the authorities get aroused. And what do they know about hurting and pain? See anything interesting? What with a strong arm bit, or couldn't you tell I was a girl? Ain't no doubt about your gender, girlie. Question is, what are you doing here? Seems like a week can't go by without somebody messing around. All right, what are you doing here besides trespassing? My girlfriends and I have been driving all day. We thought this was a deserted ranch. We spotted the water tower and we were running a little hot, so we thought we'd take on a little water. We're not used to this desert driving. They let them vote, smoke, and drive, even put them in pants. So what do you get, a, a Democrat for president? A lot of smoke up your chimney, Russian roulette on the highway. You can't even tell brother from sister, unless you meet them head on. I've been gone a long time. If I'm not back soon, my friends will start worrying and go looking for law. Well, they're gonna have to yell damn loud. There ain't a phone within five miles. Besides, uh, if anybody's gonna notify any law, it's gonna be me. You best be moving along. The desert's not a safe place for girls alone. We'll be out in a hurry. But could we use a little of your water? Help yourself. Just remember, uh... There's a meter on that tank, and it's still working. She's a cold one, all right. More stallion than man. It's too much for one man to handle. And again, you never can tell. She might just gentle down real nice with the right halter. <laughs> Okay, Cupcake, we're gonna let you have a little freedom so you can wash up. Any tricks? 
and I'll be massaging your back with a club. Why do you bother with her, huh? She's a nothing but trouble. I got my reasons. I'm gonna take the gag out. One loud sound and you get enough pill stuff down you to sleep a week, you understand? There. What are you gonna do with me? Nothing if you're smart. All I want to do is go home. Oh, please let me go home. All I bet do you do. And then ten minutes later, every cop in the state will be after us. Plus the FBI. A small matter of um, kidnapping, huh? <laughs> oh, God, I promise I won't say anything. I'll tell him it was an accident. That's it, I'll tell him it was an accident. Oh, but please just let me go home. I'll tell them anything. Sure, kid, we understand. And we believe her. As soon as we finish a little business here, we'll drop you at the nearest bus, okay? Why don't you clean up if you want to? Billy? Oh, it's wonderful. Take care of the girl. Oh, I needed that. What the hell is now? I think the kid will go along to a point. We've got to keep her thinking she's got a chance. The moment she comes out of shock, she'll wise up. So why don't we get the hell out of here before she does? Before the old man blows the whistle, huh? That old man is a sick character. He ain't blowing the whistle on any broad under 50. He's got a thing for women. And here's where our screenplay starts to unfold right now. Hey, girls, we got company coming. Billy, watch that sweet young thing. Let's meet the enemy halfway. The less the girl hears, the better. Just cool it, honey. Nothing's gonna happen to you. As for that lecherous old creep out there, he wouldn't help you if he could. You're safer with us. Well, I see you made yourselves at home. We used a few gallons of water and 20 square feet of sand. That isn't exactly living it up. You girls a bunch of nudists, or you just, uh, short of clothes? Why'd you have that girl tied and gagged? You get around on those wheels pretty good. If anybody uses my land and my water, I'm around. Nobody's tied now. You didn't answer my question. Should I ask the girl? Her boyfriend was killed in a racing accident. She flipped and tried to kill herself. Her family's big socially and doesn't want any publicity. We're taking her home. Sounds, uh... Like a matter for the police to handle. Her old man's a politician. They don't want any publicity. We're just following their instructions. Besides, we're all members of the same car club. They asked us to bring her home and... sort of like friends of the family. Sort of taking the long way, aren't you? Bringing her home in the middle of the night wouldn't help anybody, especially her. My son Kirk's gone to town for supplies. Might as well all have lunch together before you fix to leave. I wouldn't want anybody to think that wasn't hospitable. No, who would think that? See you at lunch, sweetheart. Oh, uh, is it formal or can we stay comfortable? We never was one to stand on formality. Let's go, boy. Mm. That big phony. He'd take any story I laid down. He wants company. Our kind of company. I don't uh, trust him. Just the one call and we got our ticket punched for the joint. Look around, dummy. You see any wires? He told me there's no phone within five miles. We lucked out like mad. But don't panic and blow it. Right now we gotta start checking the back roads for a way out of here. And just maybe we might run across the old man's stash. If it ain't in the house, it's out here somewhere. And we may just have to make him tell us. 
and I'll take care of that problem. So who do I get to take care of? The muscle man? <laughs> Rosie and I are going to take a walk. As soon as we get back, we're all having lunch at the house. Crazy. Like, what's the old man planning for the main course? Us? Knock it off! And you watch that girl. She's liable to go any time. If she gives you any hint, you tie her up and gag her again. You understand? All right already. I'm hip. <laughs> Jack and Jill, they make the Mafia look like brownies. You really don't like them, do you? It's kicks. But I'm not under contract to them, and I got a strong feeling option time is right around the corner. Don't let it bug you. You just be a good kid. Otherwise, we're both in big trouble. What do you think of our guests, boy? Boy, listen to me. Fate threw us this package. Now all we gotta do is untie them pretty ribbons. And we know how to do that, don't we, boy? Yeah, all that land to hide them ribbons in when we're done with them. That young'un, tender as a cotton tail. And we gotta save her from those girls, boy, you hear me now? We got to save her. Save who? Well, the young ladies. You're, uh, early. It's... It's two hours yet till feeding time. We ain't hungry. Not food hungry, anyway. Oh, we're just looking around. Looking for what? Oh, you know, checking the lay of the land. He's really fantastic. Now, he just wasn't hatched that way, was he? He's always been big. Always. I mean, he must work out a lot, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he does a lot of that. Show her, son. Show her how you stay strong. Maybe some other time. I gotta stay with her. But thanks, anyway. Well, I reckon the little lady and I'll be safe together. Hey, it ain't all that nervous. She ain't going nowhere. Are you, baby? Then you'll be okay. <laughs> So show me all that, huh? Quite a playroom here, Buster. What you need now is a playmate. I may not be much in the muscle department, but I got a few things going for me too, you know. What you need is a manager. Yeah. 10% of your action be enough for anyone. I never took no course in anatomy, but from what I can see, you got two of everything and some left over. I don't know what you're training for, but as far as I'm concerned, you're ready. Look, me, Jane, you, Tarzan. Now, why don't you drop that tree you're holding and let's grab a vine and swing a little, huh? <laughs> what the hell was that? Easy, easy, though. 
brownies, and you're going to be all right. So who's after you? Are uh, the cotton shells, maybe? Or, or did your boyfriend make you walk home? <laughs> My boyfriend is dead. He's dead. Just relax for a minute, then tell me all about it. Please just get me out of here. Help me. Of course I'll help you. Well, grab a hold of yourself so I can understand how I can help. Just get me out of here before they get me, please. Look, I don't see anyone, so relax. You're safe here. Believe me, I know. Now, what's the matter? What are you running away from? No, you understand? The murders. They kidnapped me. They killed my boyfriend. The vicious killers. Wait a minute. Who are vicious killers? Those girls. Wild drivers. Sports cars. Well, how did these girls kill you? They're bare hands. They just chopped him down. And then she grabbed him by his neck. And then she pulled the knife in me. And then she snapped. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's right. Just let it all out, and then we'll see about getting to where you want to be. everyone, Billy and the other girl's missing. The girl escaped. The other one and my son are looking for her. She won't get far. She won't get far? What the hell happened? She damn near killed me, that's how. She's a demon, that one. She knocked me over. Me, a cripple. And what caused that? Her pushing you out of your chair? Nothing you did, of course. Nothing gave her no reason. What could I do? I am tied to this chair for life. Better you should be nailed to it! How long has she been gone? How long? That's my other son. He knows this country best. He can help us. But I just escaped from here. Do you understand those girls? They're in there! Look, I told you to just trust me. I promise you'll be safe. I promise. Please turn around before they... Please. Look, I live here, do you understand? This is my home. Live here? And that old man? He's my father. You want him to let me out! You're crazy! All of you! Next, we're here to bring her back. We've been worried. She's a sick girl. You need rest, honey. A lot of rest. No, you understand? They'll kill me! I'm a no! 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 Do you tell me? Or do I ask them? What's to tell, son? Don't be foolish, old man. I want to know what's going on. Who are they? Well, it's a simple story. It ain't an easy one to believe. But then the truth ain't never easy. You're wasting yourself on this kid and hanging this up for nothing. For nothing? She's got nothing to do with the money. She is the money. Did you see the look on the old man's face? And what do you figure the old man's laying down to number one son right now? It's a political thing. Her folks are nervous about publicity. They want her back quiet like. Well, she's going back today as soon as we give them a full stomach to travel on. So why don't you in the vegetable fry us up a nice batch of chicken? Yeah. Well, I guess I better remove the supplies. Who's brother? I'm looking for that girl yet, I reckon. You know he's not supposed to be alone. Oh, he ain't alone. Now you reckon he needs some chaperoning? Hey, it's only a choo-choo, don't lose the thing, huh? Come on, don't let it try the off the track, Atlas. We aren't even halfway home yet. Come on, we've got our own schedule to move. It's a bad thing. 
you really are afraid, aren't you? They make him, him angry. He gets crazy when they go by. Oh, your old man. He's nuts anyway. Why should a train flip him off? There are reasons. I gotta go. You better straighten your tie, Samson, or Pop will spank you! You got your tongue club. Just that they saw it killed. Did you hear me? Yeah, but you aren't saying anything. And you're not doing anything. The water's great. You ought to try it. It might clear your head. She's gagged, but that don't mean she's deaf. We're gonna dump her, but it's gotta be miles from here. One sniff is enough in this area. When, huh? I want to crack at Kirk first. He's no idiot. He should know where the bread is. We'll be in the house having lunch, but we won't all be eating. You are a long time coming. You're telling me. To do have fun or to do well yourself out to looking for a girl? Both. Where did you find her? We didn't. The old man's son ran across to driving into the ranch. One more slider flake and it's wipeout. What's next on the agenda? Lunch! Plus I'm gonna work on Kirk. What are you gonna do with her? Take her with us! She can keep the old man occupied. The sacrificial lamb. You really do have the hearts for the long green. <laughs> It's a little early for that, isn't it? The train's late. What's that got to do with it? Nothing's on schedule today. So, some things never change. <laughs> your son. Yeah, he's my seedling. I can't deny that. But he ain't no son to me. He's a, a piece of mutton, a blob of flesh. He's no use to no one. Well, you seem to find him useful. Well, he's an instrument. He's a means. He's for using in things that humans can't do. Bottle to. All right, have it any way you want. I'm not for talking anymore. I'm for eating. If you don't see it, we ain't got it. Everything we're gonna be eating is on this table. When it's gone, we're done eating. All right, son, start passing that chicken for it loses its juice. But you got another shift coming on when we're done? Breast or thigh, darling? Why don't you take one of each, son? They uh, both look tender. Forget about the other shift. I didn't know about Goliath here. Oh, he's got a big motor to feed. You done real good, son. He cooks better than his mom. He doesn't sow, too, does he? Only his wild oats, honey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you better eat something. All that running you did this morning must have made you weak. And you might uh, want to run again. She's had her exercise for today. Nice of you to pick her up for us. Her parents will be grateful. Oh, it was a lucky accident. I guess it was lucky. She doesn't seem to think so. She's not really thinking. But once she's home, she'll come around. 
You seem too pleased about going home. If that's where she's going. Oh, she's the quiet type. You know how they are. You're kind of that type yourself. Quiet types interest me. Are you really that quiet? Only when I'm really... I like men with big appetites. Only I could never find one to match mine. Honey, you, uh, what you eat seems to settle in the right places. But then, uh, you look to me like a gal with a big appetite for everything. I try to think big. Mr. Host, I'm of legal age for whiskey, voting, and loving. Now the next election's two years away, and my love life ain't getting much better. So how about some of that good 100%? I'm glad for the company. Good whiskey's meant to be shared. What do we drink to? Oh, let's drink to trains. They're big, fast, and strong. And they make a lot of noise. My strange kind of toast. She's a strange girl, Pop. I've got a toast. Let's drink to, uh, making new friends. Crazy, Varla. I'd rather make them than kill them any day. Old showbiz saying, you know, when you got them in Frisco, it don't mean you got them in Dubuque. You got some more food? He must keep you on overtime. Wait, what's hard? It's big. You haven't touched a thing. Is something wrong? She's, uh, in great shock. She's had a terrible experience. Uh, it's an interesting case. I'd appreciate your advice before we leave. And I'm no psychiatrist. She looks to me like she needs professional help. I think he's right. And we should get her home where she can get it. Her parents will certainly be looking for her by now. They know she's safe. I'm sure they're not too worried. Probably not, hon, but somebody else's folks will be. All that sand to brush off. Don't! Oh, God, don't! She'll kill you! She'll kill you! She killed him! She ran! You're listening to a sick girl. She's lost her fiancé. She's a long way from home. She lies. She killed. She killed with her bare hands. She did. Oh, she did. She did. Oh, she did. She did. This house knows what killing can do, and how easy it can happen accidentally. He killed when he was born, without knowing. And he was big then, even then, and he killed his mother, and he doesn't even know it. But I can't tell it or explain it. I just hate him. He needs my blood. My son. Brother, take him to his room. some of that clean just there. Excuse me. That was a short punch. What are you trying to do? Make it a short day? Leave the juice alone. We got a lot to do yet. Look at you. You're already stoned. Yeah, that's right. I'm drunk. And it feels good, Rosie. That's why I do things. 
to feel good, I can turn myself on a dozen different ways. But you, you've only got one channel. And your channel's busy tuning in outside. You really should be AM and FM. You want them broads or drag. You're a fool. You're bagged out with sauce. But I always leave myself a choice. <laughs> oh, I made some bad picks. But that could even happen with the horses. Nobody owns me. Yeah. If the money's here, the son knows. And if he knows, Vala will know soon. Whoops. Oh, she'll know something, son. That's for sure. You watch the girl. I'm getting our things ready to move. You know, Tiny Tim, when I've had enough of this stuff, it's been known to be passing out time. And it's just about passing out time. Why do you stay here? It's home. My father likes it here. This is where he wants to die. Will he ever? He seems indestructible. You hit him. You're like him in most ways. If you believe that, how could you be with me like this? Because you're a beautiful animal. And I'm weak. And I want you. about wanting. Everybody wants. That's what makes things run. Your father, he wants revenge. You want me. And you? What do you want? Everything. Or as much as I can get. Right now, you're first on my list. And I always like to talk. You did want. You wanted big, real big. Oh, oh you're unbelievable. Whatever you want, your cup to fill, to overflow. So much, you know. So damn awful much. Don't talk it. Do it. Just. Out in there. But how quick? How ain't important but catching her is. Move it, boy! Seems like an awful lot of action around here. Sounds like my motor being roughed up, which makes twice today. Something wrong with your car? Not a 
fast and we need speed. Okay. Your little playmate's gone and I suggest we do the same. How long? I don't know, the old man and the kid are already looking for her. Billy's passed out. Passed out? Get her sobered up and ready to go. What are you gonna do? Come on, Kirk, we gotta find her before the old wretch does. Oh, you know about that too, huh? Get there first. You'll save us a lot of grief if you do. Keep watching. She's on foot. She can't be far. We don't want to miss her, boy. We want to get there first. Oh, I tell you, boy, she's so like the one I saved that day I got hurt. I thought it was a ghost when I first seen her. She's just as pretty, boy, only I ain't a saving this one. Easy to spot. It's on the bare country around here. Not necessarily. This country plays tricks with the eyes. I hope it dulls your old man. What's with him? The revenge bit, the hatred for women. The young girl was trying to make the platform of a moving train. She was late. My father tried to help her. They both fell. It's something to his spine. The girl caught the next train. <laughs> That's her! That's her! Yeah. I knew if we kept our eyes peeled, we'd spot her. Come on, boy, let's get her. Don't let her get away this time. Come on, boy. You know what to do now. Just like before. That's it, boy. We got her now. Come on, boy. Get her! Get her! Get her! That's it, boy. Get her! problems. My brother means a good deal to me. He can be helped. Not as long as your old man's alive. Now there's a thought. What? Hey, like he's sitting on some bread. You know, money. He's of no use to no one, including himself. So, so what? So look out there. That's what you're living with. A couple of real boy scouts. Oh, man, I don't care. Go ahead. Get it over with. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> my childhood. <laughs> Are you nuts? Protecting two cops, they tried to rape this girl. Do you hear me? I can't help but hear you. It's over now. Nobody's hurt. All right. 
After I take her home, I'll tend to my problems. You'll have to be committed. You can be a person here. It'll take time. Too much time. We could have made it. I don't think so. Come on, Linda. find it kind of hard to drive without any keys. Where's the keys, old man? Old man, give me the keys. I threw them away. <laughs> you fool. You miserable fool. You destroy us all to satisfy your hunger for revenge. I've had enough of your self-pity. You can rot for all I care. Come on, Linda. I'm gonna walk. Wait a minute, hero. I don't care if you want to walk yourself into a sweat in the desert, but what about the frail? Come on, use your noodle. I'll drive you both back. You must be beat, honey. Don't you touch me. I don't care how long or far it takes. I'd rather crawl than... Please, let's go. Come on, Pop. I'll give you a lift. You too, Buster. No sense in us all going, Noble. That is, unless you've got something else in mind besides walking, stud. You're a very sick girl. I was healthy enough a half hour ago. Or do people look different to you when they're not horizontal? It's an awful big desert! What's he trying to prove? Maybe that everybody in this world ain't as twisted up as we are. You coming or not? Uh, I'll take the scenic route by foot. My son here needs the exercise, but thanks for offering. You're a real bunch of kooks. I'll see you again, old man. In hell, you'll see me. We're both better than even money to make it. All right, come on, son. Let's get moving. I don't aim to have that through some prowl in my property no longer. Here's how it works. Everybody's got to go. This way we're all safe and we can all go back to our gigs. This will be just another deserted ranch house. Deserted? With all these stiffs lying around? You must be kidding. Kill four people for what? To miss the big pill they give you in this state. I'll take my chances with the gas. I ain't sleeping good as it is. And a girl's got to have that good eight hours. You'd rather have a permanent rest then? Not really. But I'll take the gamble. Who knows, I might get a judge with a thing for blondes. Get out, then. Get your car and split. Well, I hate to break up the act, girl. But I always did want to do a single. Be in church, huh? Let's have it. Give it to me! later, Billy. Let her be. Looks like Act Two's arriving. What the now? Just like we planned. Only there's just the two of us. All right. You gals had better make tracks. We can't tell when we're not wanted. Drive and don't miss. Besides, this desert climate's not too good on a girl's complexion. What do you mean? I mean nail the old crud right where he sits. Are you out of your skull? We want to get the same as Billy Moon. All right, boy. Get me that shotgun. 
Before you get a chance, get me that shotgun. Thank you. 
two out of three falls. That's what, truck. My brother must have found the keys. What does he want? Relax, he'll give us a lift. That's strange. My brother can't drive like that. It's her. We've really got to make tracks or we're dead. Come on. King-sized brother's been twisted like a pretzel. You're all that's left, lover, and you ain't gonna be around for long. I don't believe it. You better believe it.
it out, it's okay. <laughs> I killed her! I killed her! She was an animal! She was nothing! She was nothing! Nothing human. A real Jekyll and Hyde. You saved my life, so stop crying, huh? Me too.